what's up everyone Kyle here and I've got a very very cool product for you today uh, now today's something a little bit different uh, as something I haven't done in the past recently I got endorsed by a company uh, called Dr. J Petals and we're here to talk about one of their pieces today um, so this is going to be more of a product demo as opposed to a review uh, so something a little different for the channel and you may have noticed the title cards on the video are just slightly different as well to reflect that um, but that said Still bringing you very, very cool gear. Um, and I want to let you guys check out, from Dr. J Pedals, the Armor Buffer today. So this thing is super, super cool. Because it's a very unique buffer in a lot of ways. And I want to just show you a couple cool feature functions on this. Um, so, uh, first thing you're going to see is that, as opposed to your normal buffer, this actually has a foot switch on it. And a gain knob different than a lot of your buffers that are out there, your standard just inline buffers. So the way this one works is it actually has two different buffer circuits on it. What it is doing on the input side here is to buffer your guitar signal input level going into your effects chain. So your guitar is gonna come in here, you're gonna come out here and into your effects chain. This keeps your signal level really, really strong going into your effects chain. Um, therefore, your, all your effects are going to get the full bodied signal that they need to be able to process correctly uh, and get the most out of your other effects pedals. Down on the other side, you're going to see an output loop buffer. This is meant to go between your effects chain and your amp to make sure you're hitting the preamp on your guitar amp with a full bodied signal that it hasn't been degraded too far by lengthy effects chains as lots of people this guy have so that is super cool so you end up with an input and output buffered signal very very awesome the other feature of this which is uber cool is that you also have an integrated 20 db boost so 20 dbs isn't a ton of gain range boost but it is plenty to beef up your signal hit your preamp harder hit your overdrive pedals a little bit harder or just fatten up your signal going through as you want. Um, and cranking it up all the way, you're going to crank it up close to all the way, you're going to have enough to be able to get up over the top of the rest of the band, get your leads out front as you would want. So great buffer, great boost, all integrated into one package. Really, you're getting two buffers and a boost in one unit. Very, very cool. I'm going to get this wired into my board, show you guys exactly how I'm going to be using this, and we'll let you check out from Dr. J, the Armor Buffer. Okay, everybody, so we are here talking about the Armor Buffer, uh, and I've got a wider view of my pedal board up here, uh, this beautiful Smith & Stanger pedal board, um, and wanted to show you... Uh, real life on the board how this is going to be wired in and exactly how you do it now i'll be the first to admit my boards aren't wired the prettiest in the world but that is okay um so we're going to get into the buffer here uh so i have this put at the very very front this is my input stage of my board um so my guitar is literally going to plug in right here on the end of the in buffer loop come out of that in buffer loop and it's going to go into my tuner starting my effects chain all the way down um, as it winds its way through my effects chain, it's going to end up over here. And let me make sure you can see that clearly uh, in this reverb pedal here. So that is the last of the stage of my uh, effects loop, or effects chain rather. So that's going to come back and go to the in of the out buffer. And the out of the out buffer is on this cable here, which is running out to a cable snake that runs back over to my uh, amp. Um, so you end up with a buffer loop here, buffering the input signal before you get to your effects loop, or effects chain. Uh, and you also have the output buffer before it hits your uh, amp, making sure that you're giving the uh, a full, nice, uh, thick signal to your amp, uh, and you're not depleting your uh, tone and signal uh, on, its, on its way through all of your effects. Um, this is essential, especially when you have a Ford uh, like mine with a lot of effects across it. Um, so the only other thing we want to talk about is the boost on this, and that's what we're going to do with the audio portion of this particular demo. 
uh, is show you the boost. Um, obviously, the boost is sitting here in the pre-gain stage. It's before all of my gain pedals. Um, so that's going to allow us to boost uh, the signal going into those to drive them harder. So you can drive your Tube Screamer or your Fuzz or whatever else harder. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing with this uh, 20 dB available boost here. So we're going to get into that in just a second, and I'll let you guys check it out. All right, let's do that. Thank you. 